now we're going to learn how to solve equations using factoring. So t to solve an equation by factoring, you have to have an expression set equal to zero. You can't factor it until you set it equal to zero, otherwise it'll give you the wrong answer. So then the next step is to factor out your expression. Now for this particular one, it's a trinomial. So we're going to have to factor it out and there'll be two quantities that will multiply to give us this. So this will be an x and this will be an x. Now we ask ourselves what two numbers will multiply to get positive 12 and add to get negative 7. So 2 and 6, 4 and 3, 12 and 1. So 4 and 3 are going to what's, what's going to add to give us negative 7. So that means negative 4 and negative 3, which if you, if you add those together, they'll give you negative 7. And if you remember, when you multiply a negative by another negative, you're going to get a positive. So this is still equal to 0. So then we take each one of these factors and set it equal to 0. Now we do this because if you remember whenever you multiply a number by 0 it's going to give you 0. So this equation is going to equal 0 whenever one of these two factors equals 0. They can both equal 0 or just one of them can equal 0. So we set these equal to 0 and then we add 4 to both to both sides of this equation and we add 3 to both sides of this equation. So x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 3. That's the solution for this equation up here. So this time we're going to do a different kind of factoring. So we can pull out a v from both of these and we get v squared minus 4 equals 0. And then, since this is a difference of squares, this becomes v minus 2 and v plus 2 equals 0. And then you have to set each one of these factors equal to 0. And v counts as a factor because if v equals 0, then this whole thing is going to equal 0. So v equals 0, v minus 2 equals 0, v plus 2 equals 0. That's already solved for you. If we add 2 to both sides, we get v is equal to 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, and we get v is equal to negative 2. So this, and most of the time you are going to have more than one solution to your problem. Okay, so again, since it's a trinomial, we're going to have two expressions. Now, if you think about it, the only two numbers that are going to multiply to get, well, there are four numbers, 2 and 3, and 6 and 1. And in this case, they will, only one of them will be able to give you a negative 6 as well as a negative 5. Which it's going to be 6 and 1. Because if you take negative 6 with a positive 1, you'll get x squared plus x minus 6x minus 6 just going to give you x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Okay, now this work was just to check that those factors really do multiply to give me this. So then I set each one of these equal to 0. I add the 6 over and get x equals 6 and x equals negative 1. Now we're going to do two more examples. Okay, 
So remember the first thing I said is you have to have an expression that equals zero. So in order to set this equal to zero, we have to subtract this 10 over. So this becomes x squared minus 10x plus 9 equals zero. Now, if you think about it, the only thing that's going to multiply to get 9 and add to get negative 10 is going to be 9 and 1. Since it has to be negative, that means both of these have to be negative minus, and a negative times a negative is going to give you a positive. And if you check that, you'd find out that you'd get x squared minus x minus 9x minus or plus 9. So then we set each one of these factors x minus 9 equal to 0 x equals 9 and x equals 1. We have to move this 8x over. We can factor an x out and we get we'll get x minus 8 equals 0. Set both factors equal to 0. Add 8 to both sides. You get x equals 8 and x equals 0. So that's all we're going to do with um, solving equations today. But, if, but make sure you come back and watch our next lesson where we're going to talk about solving word problems using factoring.